Hi boys and girls. Happy Tuesday still. Hope you're doing well. It is time for Magic Treehouse Night of the Ninjas. And we are on chapter six. No, I'm sorry, chapter seven. To the east, if you remember, they met the Ninja Master and they left them behind it. So they had to find the treehouse on their own. So they're not even gonna help them find Morgan and they gotta find the treehouse on their own. I think, oh, please. Uh, they also have to watch out for the CMRIs. So we'll see what happens. Don't forget I have to wear reading glasses now, but still look gorgeous. Okay, here we go. Jack and Annie stood still for a long moment. Annie spoke first. Well, I guess the tall ninja was pointing to the east, she said. I guess that's the way to go? Wait, said Jack. I need to write some stuff down. He took out his notebook. In the moonlight, he wrote, one, use nature, two, be nature, and three, follow nature. Look, Jack, whispered Annie. Do I look like a ninja? He looked at her. She had pulled her sweatshirt hood over her head and tied the strings tightly. She did look like a ninja, a very small one. Good idea, Jack whispered. He pulled his hood up too. Okay, let's go, said Annie. Jack put his notebook away. Then he and Annie headed east into the woods. They slipped between trees and more trees and more trees. All the trees looked the same. Jack got confused. Were they still going in the right direction? Wait, he said. Annie stopped. They both stared at the woods around them. Do you think we're still going east? asked Jack. I guess so, said Annie. We can't just guess, said Jack. We have to know for sure. How do we do that? said Annie. We don't have a compass. Just then, the master's words came back to Jack. The ninja master said, use nature, he said. Well, how do we do that? said Annie. Wait, I remember something. Jack closed his eyes. He remembered something in a camping book. Now, what was it? He opened his eyes. I've got it. First, we need a stick, he said. Annie picked up a stick. Here, she said. Great, now we just need a space with moonlight, said Jack. There, said Annie. They moved into a moonlit space between the shadows. Now push the stick into the ground, Jack said. Annie pushed the stick into the ground. The stick's shadow looks like it's more than six inches, said Jack. What do you think? It looks like it, said Annie. Okay, then that means the shadow's pointing east, said Jack. Neat, said Annie. So that way is east. Jack pointed to a new direction. At least I hope it is. We're real ninjas now, said Annie. Yep, said Jack. Maybe we are. Come on. They took off heading east. They hoped. Soon they were out of the pine woods and walking down the rocky mountainside. They moved slowly from rock to rock. Finally, they rested against a giant rock. Let's check out the direction again, said Jack. Annie stuck another stick into the dirt. There, he said, he pointed to the shadow on the ground. That way. Annie peeked over the rocks down the mountain. Yikes, she said softly. Jack looked too. His heart nearly stopped. There were flames of fire coming up the mountain. The samurai. Jack and Annie ducked behind the rock. Squeak, said the mouse. Quiet, Peanut, said Annie. Jack reached into his pack. He pulled out the ninja book. I hope something is in here that can help us, he said. Jack flipped through the page after page until he found what he was looking for. It was a picture of warriors wearing bamboo armor. They were holding swords, he read. The samurai were fierce Japanese fighters. They carried two swords to cut down their enemies. Annie tapped Jack on the shoulder. Jack looked at her. She pointed up the mountain. A figure was coming down toward them. He was very near. In the moonlight, 
His bamboo armor was shining. His two swords were gleaming. It was a samurai warrior. <laughs> No thank you. Oliver's really scared about that too. All right, chapter eight is Dragon Water. See you on Wacky Wednesday to read it. Have a good day.